haven't slept, been up for probably like 22 hours at this point. Whoa, 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 you haven't shown them anything that's happened so far. You need to run it back. <laughs> So it's sunny in Ireland, that means one thing. All the festivals are happening right now and we're going to a festival this weekend. So right now we need to go pick up supplies. That means camping gear, that means tents, sleeping bags, air mattresses, food, drinks, warmth, everything. Pretty much everything that you need for a festival. And to start us off, cannot forget the mandatory. That was nice, let's go. So before we start getting supplies and stuff, we do need to go get my hair done because I just have my hair out, so that's just not a vibe. So here I got my hair done, but I really don't know how I feel about it. Like, it's a lot. So, in classic Dublin fashion, another random spot, another shop that I was supposed to go to, has now been turned into a hotel. That used to be like a sports equipment and like camping gear stop, and now it's a fucking hotel. We love it, Dublin. But you love what you're... In the you. I don't know what to do now. We finally found the outdoor store. Okay, you can't tell right now, but it's really, really quiet in here. But we are currently in TK Maxx because I feel like this is the best place to get festival shit. Like, look at all this stuff. Just shit shirts everywhere. I see a really ugly shirt over there. Do you see that? Yeah. I'm coming for you. I don't really like the look of my hair at the moment. It's not what I wanted. It's not nice. What I think we can do that better is... I've also made an executive decision to get all the big stuff tomorrow. We're getting on a bus tomorrow and that's going to bring us straight to the campsite. So we can just drop all of our shit there and yeah, so like why would I carry around all my stuff today when I can do it tomorrow? Do you get me? We have a Row & Co event today. So I need to get home. Let's go home. Hey, How are you? Kiki, he loves my ear. The family are back together again. <laughs> You're so excited. I'm so excited. You're so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Do we need to have everything that we need here? So we're just going to get everything we have and it's being called being efficient. It's called being efficient. That is so like, how's <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> Across that way. <laughs> Alcohol security. Why are you giving out free schmeps? We're working with schmeps. Thank you very much. Thank you too. Yeah, that's good. Thanks guys. Yeah. And that's what you need when you're going to a festival. Free shit. Watch this. Welcome to Other Side Festival. Well, not yet. We still have so yeah. The ground is honestly not that bad. Well, not yet. <laughs> Some fun for the tent. Oh. We're neighbors. We're neighbors. Hi guys. We have new neighbors. How are you guys? Neighbors. They're from Northern Ireland. A room tour of what the, the two bed is like. Yeah. Go for it. Good. Unreal. MTV crib like. MTV, welcome to my crib. It's a bit messy. Didn't play it. Didn't expect that guest. I mean, it's so fucking. After the room tour, we decided to go on a proper wander and just explore the grounds. You know, just like see where the stages are, get the vibes around people. And we found this really cool place. This was called Rimsky's Yard. And little did we know that this is where we were going to find our festival guru. And obviously, he's wearing a mushroom hat. <laughs> we're going to call him Mushroom Man from now on just because he wants to stay like a little bit anonymous. And he knew we were like filming for the vlog. Enjoyed it and Five minutes later. Basically, he told us about a rave in the woods and then he brought us to said rave in the woods and then we all got more mushroom hats. Then there was a man who came around with more mushroom hats and we actually kind of formed a cult. But then again, what did you expect from an arts and music festival in the middle of Ireland? We may see Mushroom Man again, we may not, but all we know is that he's brought us the most immaculate vibes, so. After that, we came across this guy with like a spinny rug thing, and I was like, oh yeah, pass it to me. You're about to see the most shocking display of rug spinning you'll ever see in your life. <laughs> and 
I don't think a video from me would be complete unless there was a one wheel involved. But this really, really, really cool guy, he, had, he brought his one wheel and Max R to the festival. Let me hop on a quick spin. It was so surreal and good and weird to like have a one wheel at a festival in a proper open area where it could be used. But also really, really wished I had my own board as well so we could ride together. But yeah, really, really cool. Nice to meet you. Bill, Bill, nice to meet you. After this, we popped over to the other stage to watch Chamomile Club play. And if you don't know them, they're an absolute vibe, a group of like really talented, amazing artists. There's no other way to describe them other than just a vibe. <laughs> After a bit of hip hop and like unreal DJs and mixes, we popped over to the bit more of a techno tent. Good vibes, it really started to fill up. We're going on this crazy machine. Be fun! After that ride, is it really a festival unless somehow you just end up backstage at the festival? And like backstage is really cool, you meet really cool people, you have good chats, you network a little bit. But as much as backstage is cool, you do love being in front of the DJ and just experiencing the festival for what it is. Vibing, dancing with the person in front of you, really just sharing the moment with whoever you came with as well as like your new festival buddies. I don't know, backstage is cool but just like letting go, feeling free and just experience the music. I think that's what it's all about. So when the end of the night came about, just listen to how much this crowd appreciated what just happened. way I can describe this is a group of like-minded people coming together and expressing themselves however they want to express themselves and also just having fun. A big shout out to the organizers and the owners of this side. It's definitely not sustainable to put out like a production as big as this or sorry as small as this and be profitable. So they definitely I know they're definitely making a loss like but it's for the culture, it's for the people who are like-minded like them. Okay, I changed locations because it was just way too loud over there. Okay, so the joke is, did you hear about the weather forecast for the hip hop festival? It's calling for a little Wayne. Cooper, I want a car for that. Sponsor me. And also, I'm definitely coming back for that coffee. It looks nice, it's like specialty coffee or something. Pretty cool. I also need to pick up my power bank on the way, so. Hopefully that's charged. Hopefully I'm ready for the entire day and I'll be fine. Put like rain, rain sounds on screen right here. That was the worst thing ever. Our, apps, our tent is just fully flooded. Why? Those were the, no, that was the massive fucking storm clouds that we just had to go through. Um, we have a bit of sun right now. It's gonna, <laughs> I don't know. I think there's a bit of a clearing until the next one. But well, yeah, we need to pack up. We're cutting it early. Other side, you've been great. You've been fucking fantastic. Save this for the fucking rain. And let's go home. Goodbye, tent. I literally did say we didn't have a lot of time, so let's fucking go. Hello, oh, Editor Bill here. Sorry, it's so, so, so late right now. I just wanted to come on and actually explain how bad the rain was. And like, we weren't just like taking it easy or calling it quits, because like, there was a bit of rain it was a lot of rain there was a proper storm tent got flooded all of our clothes got flooded our, our electronics our electronics 
we're in bits and thankfully I threw all my stuff in a bag and the guys beside us let us like stay in their tent for about like 25 30 minutes what because like they had better tents than us so that could actually withstand the rains ours didn't thankfully I mean like big props to Duns for their 35 euro camping two-person tent but like it did its job. It did. It did well for what it was, but definitely did not, or and could not handle that amount of rain. Goodbye, muchachos. Bye, daddy. <laughs> He's going backwards. <laughs>